By November of 2016, Russian Edward Troyanovsky had spent the past year defending the IBF super lightweight title against not so notable Cesar Quenza and Keto Obara, and was clearly eager to find another warm body to pluck from the rankings for an upcoming defense in Moscow. By this time, Troyanovsky was building a bit of a name for himself, starching foes, however hapless, and making people think that he could very well be the one guy to challenge Terence Crawford as the division's true top dog. So when the Russians' brain trust flew Namibian Julius Ndongo in from Southern Africa for a December 3rd Moscow title defense, they must have thought that Ndongo was no different than any other Tom, Dick, or Harry in the top 15. They were wrong. Instead of a conventional pressure fighter who would have played right into Troyanovsky's strengths, or a run-of-the-mill mover that the powerful Russian would have eventually tracked down, Indongo was in fact a crafty, powerful, rangy six-foot lefty with a thudding right hook and a laser-like rapier straight left. In other words, a stylistic nightmare. And given the fact that he was hand-picked for Troyanovsky, Julius Indongo could represent the single greatest matchmaking blunder the sport has seen in years. But one man's blunder is another's potential boon, with Ndongo seizing his opportunity, mesmerizing Troyanovsky with his height, movement, and unique angles of attack, and launching a straight left that deposed one man into boxing purgatory and launched one of the most startling ascents in recent memory. Now, after following up the Troyanovsky triumph by dethroning Scottish WBA world champion Ricky Burns in Glasgow just five months later, Indongo was the one with a ticket to dance with Crawford for the undisputed perch atop the division in Crawford's home state of Nebraska, no less, on August 19th. And should Indongo pull off yet another road win and strap all four belts around his waist, it's that December night in Moscow that would have marked the dramatic turning point for two careers. One now wayward, marked by skepticism, and the other on a trajectory that promises more fame, riches, and accolades than anybody thought possible. <laughs>